welcome. He's Five hundred years ago, a village in Japan was attacked by bandits. A girl took up her dying father's Naginata to defend the town. Her bravery inspired her people and saved the village. The girl, however, perished. But she did not leave. Today, her shrine has become a revered place. The locals say her spirit walks through the village, protecting them still. Her real name forgotten. They now call her Hisako, the Eternal Child. Arya wished to study life after death, what it is that makes the human spirit linger long after it should leave. Word reaches her of a spirit that haunts a Japanese village, and she arranges to have the village desecrated to draw the spirit out.
the soul of a human. Arya wonders how something can be so powerful and so fragile. How some that might seem weak can overcome, and yet those who could be the strongest fall into shadow. Whatever this power is that drags Hisako forward, that pulls her inch by inch beyond death's grasp, is what separates the weak from the strong. Arya contemplates the applications of such a power and how she will control it. As Arya falls, Hisako feels her home call to her. Hisako's spirit may never die, though for now, it can rest. But unknown to Hisako, Arya is not simply some machine that can be broken and tossed aside. Her intelligence is stored in the Pinnacle's servers, her body's just expendable shells. And even though the spirit escaped her, Arya has learned a valuable lesson. The will of a few will perpetrate the lie that humanity is strong. If the world is to accept her vision of a better human race, they must truly understand that they are inferior. Only then will they accept progress. All Arya needs is a common enemy powerful enough to unify humanity under her orders. 